Hi. Um, so I'm going to take you through a two-day um, at-home strength training program. So um, I'll list in the comments here how many sets and, and reps I would recommend for each of these exercises. Uh, but we'll start with day one. And with day one, we're going to start with a squat and press and a single leg RDL. Um, so I'm going to grab my dumbbell. And for the squat and press, again, just sitting down, full range of motion, and pressing up. Okay. And for the single leg RDL, you're going to have one weight in your hand. Um, you want it in the opposite hand of what you're reaching towards. The main thing with this one is you want to keep your hips kind of square forward, so you need to keep your core tight um, in order to maintain an appropriate posture. So. Um, the leg that you're standing on can be slightly bent as well, um, if that helps you. And so again, um, shoulders are back, core is tight, slight bend in that knee, hand in the off or the weight in the opposite hand, reaching straight down, back up. Okay. So if you're going to do all on one side and then switch sides, um, again, you can go down as deep as you feel comfortable. Um, I'm not very flexible, so I can't get down super deep, um, but that's your second exercise. Let's see, next we have rows with resistance band and incline push-up. So um, for your resistance band, again, find some sort of stable thing that you can kind of hook them around. And you're going to get into kind of an athletic position, so kind of like a quarter squat, um, arms are extended in front, then you're going to just squeeze the legs back. Okay, so the main thing is we want to squeeze your elbows back and keep kind of your shoulders down. Again, if that's too easy, you can take a step back so that you are adding a little bit more resistance. The next one was an incline push-up. So again, find some sort of um, surface. The higher your hands are, the easier it's So if I do them against this surface here. Again, that's not too difficult. Um, again, main things to think about, keep our shoulders, hips, and ankles all in alignment. Again, if that's too easy, I can come over here and maybe use my chair. So again, same thing, we need to get in good body position. Um, hips, ankles, and shoulders all in alignment. And coming straight down and back up. That's your incline push up. Next, we have reverse lunge and a front plank. So, for the reverse lunge, you can grab both your weights. And I like to keep them up here. Again, that gives us a little bit of shoulder action and a little bit more stability than keeping them down at your side. So again, weights are up here, and I'm going to take a nice big step back and forward. Again, with this one, you can alternate legs. Um, then the next one, front plank, that's pretty easy. Again, main things to think about with the front plank is keeping our hips, ankles, and shoulders all in alignment and kind of keeping that core nice and tight. And then two more on the set. Supermans, um, you're going to lie flat on your stomach, on your mat, and lift up both your arms and your legs at the same time. Um, you can Google that one if you're not familiar with it. I can't do that one because I can't lay on my stomach. And then uh, last one in this set is called a pendulum. And so for this one, you're going to lay flat on your back, on your mat. And I'll show you two different variations of this one. So, um, main key points with this one, you want to keep your shoulders down on the mat and um, really focus on activating the core. So, shoulders are down, you can keep your arms out to the side. I'll show you the easier version first. So, from this position, um, I'm going to put my legs at a 90 degree angle, bring my knees side, back to center, the other side, back to center, and that's one. Okay? Um, the harder option of this is to bring my legs straight up and same thing, all the way to this side, 
back to center, to your other side, back to center, and that's one. Okay. Um, you can choose something in between that as well. If this is too easy, but that's too hard, maybe something like here um, would be maybe more intermediate. And again, you know, like the first set you want to do um, the hardest version, and the next set you want to do kind of the intermediate and so on, that's fine as well. Um, as long as you're feeling some uh, tension in the core and um, in, the, in those obliques, that's what we want to get out of that one. Okay, so that's day one. For day two, we're going to start with um, walking lunges in a single leg hip bridge. So walking lunges, again, I like to have the weights here. Um, again, just gives us a little bit more core activation. It's a little more challenging than keeping them down by your side. So I'll demo this one. So what do we say? We have walking lunges and single leg hip bridge. So again, um, the more room you have, the better for this one. Um, but you can turn around as many times as you want. Um, but just basically taking a nice big step forward and back to okay. Nice and simple. And then the second one was single leg hip bridge. So again, um, laying flat on your back. And I'm going to have one leg extended. Core is pulled tight. Arms are down by your side and just lifting straight up and back down. Okay, so again, do everything on the one side and then switch to your other side. Our next set we have banded straight arm pull downs and inchworms. Okay. So with the banded straight arm pull downs, I'm going to have my band affixed to something um, that's stable. The higher you can have your band on this one, the better. So if I had some way to attach it up higher, that would be better. But I can try and adjust my body position to kind of make up for that. So um, I want to hinge forward at the waist. Again, a nice neutral spine. Arms are basically straight. And I like to keep my eyes down because that's what I would do when I swim. So again, it kind of mimics um, that of what we might do. Again, palms are down, also mimicking what we would do. Okay. So from this position, I'm just going to pull straight back and back forward. Okay, so nice and slow on my way back up. Again, if that's too easy, take a step back, make it more challenging. Okay. Um, the next one was an inchworm. Uh, inchworm's a nice one for shoulders and for uh, core stability. And you can do these right in place. So I'm going to start here. Um, again, flexibility helps on this one, which I don't have a lot of, especially with my stomach getting in the way. Um, so you're going to keep your shoulder width apart. Again, nice neutral spine and a reaching straight down. My hands on the ground, walk out to a plank position. If you are strong enough and you want to do a push up here, great. And then we're walking back up. Okay, so that's one. And come back down, out to that push up position, and then walk my hands back up. Okay, so that's the inchworm. Bent over dumbbell row, flutter kicks. So for the bent over row, um, if you don't have weights that are heavy enough, you can cross them like this and put them in. Um, that's one way. You could also increase the repetition so that you don't stop and so you don't you know, bring them. Um, one hand on a uh, chair, on a couch, whatever, something like that. So hand here, again, nice neutral spine. So I'm kind of arching my back almost. Um, feet are about shoulder width apart, and I'm just going to pull straight up, back down. Again, the main movement is driving that elbow up, squeezing the shoulder blade together, and back down. I think I said flutter kicks was the next one. Double check. Flutter kicks. Okay. So for the flutter kicks, again, I'm um, laying on the floor.
And again, I like to mimic swimming as, as much as I can. Um, regular exercise is good for that as well. So again, I'm laying flat on my back. You can put your hands under your butt if you want to. I like to do that. Um, and toes are pointed and just alternating legs, flow and controlled. Again, keeping our toes pointed because that's what we would do um, if we were swimming. Those are your flutter kicks. And then we have two left, I believe. Got bird dogs and front lateral raises. All right, so the bird dog, we're gonna start on all fours. Okay, so starting in this position, and doing a nice and neutral spine. Um, you know, your, your knees are about shoulder width apart, hands are shoulder width apart. And I'm gonna lift my opposite arm and leg, extend out, and now I'm gonna bring my elbow to my knee side, kick back out, hold, come back in. Okay, so do everything on the one side and then switch. So elbow to knee, kick back out. Okay. And then the last one, front lateral raises, is for our shoulders. Um, probably use a lighter weight with this one, so maybe just five. And you can alternate um, directions to a front raise and a lateral raise. So just alternating. Um, I think we're going to do eight each direction with that. Again, the main thing with strength training, um, just slow and controlled is going to be better. We want to um, control those movements. So, um, and yeah, again, I'll just I'll put in the notes here um, what my re recommendations are for um, the sets and reps for each of those.